All right, everyone, I got a huge announcement just for you. And I didn't know if you know this, but Meta, which is Facebook, Instagram, all of that, has partnered up with MidJourney to allow you to create MidJourney images and you can use them on those social media platforms. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to walk you through how to do it. So I obviously have MidJourney up right now. And I want to show you a mid-journey prompt real quick, which is just chocolate birthday cake, uh, candles and stuff. And I've got the prompt right here. I'm just going to hit go. And it's going to create the images super quickly. And uh, it's going to be a photograph of a chocolate birthday cake. That's exactly what we want. Now, over here on my other tab, I've got Meta set up. Now, you just go to meta.ai. And if you've got... Facebook, if you've got Instagram, you can get this for free. That's right. You can use MidJourney for free to create stuff for your social media platforms. And I really think this is really going to be a big boon for a lot of people, but they haven't used MidJourney before. So they're going to be a little behind the eight ball. So today, what we want to do is we want to show you some ways to do it. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to paste in the same prompt, the chocolate birthday cake. And what I want to do is I want to show you where the controls are here on Meta. So if you're using Meta, this is where you would go. So first off, we're creating an image and then you have three aspect ratios. This is the shape of the image. So we're doing a square, but you can do a vertical rectangle or a horizontal rectangle. Right now we're just doing a square. And then here's where you control the variety, which is the amount of how the images are going to look different. The weirdness is just what it says. And then the style command is the amount of creativity that it puts in. So let's just do uh, 150. And, and then let's hit go. And we already have our mid-journey ones created. And what I wanted to do was compare the mid-journey image with the meta image to show you they're really kind of the same. And I'm going to create uh, four other different types of images with different tools that MidJourney offers just to show you how to use them because you might not have used MidJourney before. Now, here's the chocolate cakes that we did here in MidJourney. Of course, it doesn't make anything exactly the same, but you can see it's the same quality photo. But here's what's really cool. We can click into this and then we can animate it. And here's the fun part. We can custom animate this and then we can add, and we just say, uh, we can describe our animation or not, but we can add music right here. And uh, we're just gonna do, uh, we're just gonna one song, okay? And we're just gonna hit animate. <coughs> now you can see it's gonna take a minute to animate this. Now what's really cool here is that after it's done animating, see the share tab? You can click this and you can share this as a link in Facebook, on threads, in WhatsApp, in the Facebook Messenger. As an Instagram, you can download it or you can copy it. Here are all your tools that you can do. These also work with posts, by the way, not just for the video. And I know a lot of people are going to be using this to create something fun, something funky, and they're going to be sharing it to their feeds. And that's what's going to be really fun with this. Okay, so let's see how we did here. Is it finished yet? Isn't that great? Okay, so that's just one aspect of what you can do here in meta.ai. So let's try something else. So let's say, let's go here to Mid Journey and let's compare Tiger 1950 style mascot isolated. I do a lot of these, I love this type of style. And you get this kind of look. And of course, we go into here, we paste it in, and we can get a similar kind of look right here in my meta. That's what's really going to be fun for lots of people. And then they can use this for whatever they want. So let's compare these tigers. I think of these, which one do you like the best? Maybe this one. Maybe this one. I think this one looks the cutest. Doesn't have any teeth though. This one's got a couple teeth. And then let's come back here. I like this one the best. So I think these had similar results. 
but let's pick one. Now let's say we wanted to edit the image. So what do we want to do? You just type it in. Let's say add a, a light blue background. And here's our result. So it's pretty easy to edit. No problem at all. So I think this is a really easy way for you to create stuff for your social media. But let's take a look at another way that we can use this. Let's say you wanted to add a texture. So in Mid Journey, I've done videos on this before. We want to do a shattered glass pattern. Now, here in Mid Journey, we've got a lot more controls than Meta. We can control, this is the image kind of thing, but we can control way more aspect ratios. Also, we can control how fast, you know, the standard version, if we do, you know, a lot of different options here. Here's our results. That's kind of a cool kind of look. Let's say you wanted a background pattern and you could put some text on top. Let's do the same thing here in Meta. And here's our results, like very similar. I would, I would use these all day long for different things. Okay, so we've got two more things that we wanna show. First off is Mid Journey has something called an SREF code. So let me paste in my prompt here. So this number, the big long number here, 28704985 this is a kind of an art look. This number controls the art aesthetic. When we're using things in Meta, you have access to all the SREF codes that we have in Mid Journey. And so that's a super powerful way to control things. So here's a, a look that I'm doing with a skull with fangs and it's gonna give me this kind of vintage engraved kind of art look. And let's just pick the one we like the best. We'll zero in. See how this has this kind of red on this tan and it's got this kind of old school way of uh, drawing. That's associated with this SREF code. Now, on this Mid Journey Experience channel, I've got a whole bunch of videos about SREF codes. Please go look at those. You can use those in Meta, so take a look at those. Now, let's do the same thing here in Meta. We're gonna paste it in. We've got the SREF code. And here we go. You get a very similar look. Nice. That's all controlled by the SREF code. You didn't have to put in a lot of prompts to get this style. You just have to know the SREF code. And if you're like me, I've got a spreadsheet with thousands of these things on it, and I'm always kind of playing around and discovering them. Now, Mid Journey, of course, has a lot of features about how to find SREF codes. Meta does not. And I'll show you one quick way. If you get something that you like, an image that you like in Mid Journey, you could just hit the power search bar and you can go up here to the Explore tab. This is in Mid Journey to Styles. And then you get a lot of different styles that are very similar to the one that you liked. And if you want to try it out, like let's say we want to try this one, we just click the try style button and it automatically makes it for us with this different SREF code to see, hey, do we like this one or not? It's a, a really kind of a cool feature. Meta doesn't have that. And so Meta also doesn't have a bunch of stuff like mood boards and these different things. So uh, it's a very kind of, bare bones kind of greatest hits version of mid journey and that's okay because maybe a lot of people don't need everything okay so my last one here is something i think a lot of people are going to want to use which is the ability to use a photograph of someone in a design so let's go ahead and show you how to do this in mid journey so we have a we have a prompt set up and i'm going to go over the prompt here in a minute and what we need to do is we need to upload a file and I've got my file right here. This is just a selfie shot. So in Mid Journey, the Omni reference is what controls using a person's face. Now we want kind of a portrait passport style kind of image that works best for most people. And in Mid Journey, if you're using a person, I like to try to start with at least an Omni weight of 80. And if you don't know what that means, I've got other videos about that. So I just kind of want to show you what Mid Journey is going to give us. And then we're going to do the same thing 
and Meta, so you can see that you've got access to this tool also. So if we click our image, bring up a full size, here's, this is my nephew, Ben, and then here are uh, the images of him in this particular style. It looks just like the kid. So let's see how Meta does. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna upload the picture and we're gonna throw the prompt in there. And you get a similar look, but it's not as good as perfect as Mid Journey, but it's still a recognizable version of Ben, except for that one. One of these things where you gotta play around with it a little bit, I think that one looks the best. So maybe we have to do it more than once. And I've done that a whole bunch over my use of mid journey. So let's try increase the omni weight here. Usually that works. And let's also lower the style. See if that gives us a better result. So the fun part about using these tools is playing around. You're not always going to make a great image. And uh, sometimes you got to do it a couple times to kind of dial in the result. And obviously this is what we have to do here. Hey, there you go. Much better result. Check this one out. I think that's perfect. So anyway, what do you think? So leave a note in the comment. How are you going to use Meta MidJourney? Are you going to play around with the Meta.ai? Are you going to stick to MidJourney? How do you see you using this stuff? Leave a comment and let me know. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to use MidJourney, also, I guess, Meta right now, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'd love to see you there. But also we have the MidJourney Experience Academy, which is on the school platform, which is where creative professionals go to learn how to use MidJourney better. So, hey, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.